What's going on? It's Kawhi, this is your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online or Red Dead Online. Today is, I kind of messed up by saying that, like trying to edit that and, because I lost track of what I was saying. Anywho, <laughs> what's going on? It's God, this is your main Hitman, and I am back. Once again with the daily spawn up, with the daily spawn updates for it, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all lost jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Tuesday, June 1st, and as I say each and every video. Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out. Because I put out videos each and every day. If you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HitmanMiyagiYT. How to spell that is right there in the corner, left-hand corner, left-hand bottom corner. <laughs> um, and it will be in the hashtag below the video and in the description box below. First things first, let's get Madame Nazar out the way, which if you've been looking at the map and you know her icon, she's right up here near Cumberland Forest today. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I personally get to her when she's in this area is I'll fast travel to Valentine, the post office of Valentine right here. And then I'll run up this little path. And then when I get to this little uh, fork right here that splits the road, I'll go straight across until I get to this dotted line. When I get to this dotted line, I'll follow the dotted line across to her location, which is right there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I wouldn't move any camps over here. Just take the little ride. It's... It's the game. Don't be lazy. <laughs> it's just clicking a button to run. Anywho, that's how I get to her when she's in that location. The next thing I want to tell you guys about is the Caribbean run for today, which today is inside of Blackwater. Fast travel to Blackwater, and it's right here in this tent, this first tent right here. And it's towards the back on the side of the bed, I think. Um on a crate or a barrel or something like that there's also a couple other things i wanted to tell you guys about but that is the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle if you guys want to go get that that will help out with the moonshiners that's why i kind of tell you guys because some someone asked me about it uh months ago so i've kind of been including it in, in my videos uh, the next thing that's over here in Blackwater, right here at this location, inside this little, I want to call it, it's like a big tent. I don't know. It's like a little office or something like that. But right here at this location, inside on the table, in the back, there's an ivory cone, which is a family heirloom. And on top of this building here, I think you should be able to enter from a ladder over here but there's a tarot card on top on a square vent there's an ace of cups if you guys want to go get that as well let's go over here to where we normally do business which is the Lemoyne area of the map let's see if I got anything down there. okay <laughs> let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see everything but uh, the cycles for today, June 1st, Tuesday, June 1st, are Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Luxury Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 2, 
antique alcohol bottle cycle four, altar card cycle five, bird egg cycle six, and fossil cycle four. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel, which you don't really have to go down there for that if that's what you're going down there for. But go down there anyways because that's where the cycles are. They're written out so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Anyway, let's get to these things that we will find across the map, the Lemoyne area of the map. I have a couple that I want to tell you about that I did not mark or that I could not mark because I ran out of markers. Right here inside this house, in the cabinet underneath the sink, there's a, no it's not, it's on the fireplace. Cause I'm thinking of the antique alcohol bottle. It's on, it's, a mag it's a it's a box on top of the fireplace and it's a magnate turquoise ring which is a lost jewelry i'm thinking of the um uh, antique alcohol bottle sorry about that let's go over here to this next the next two items which there are two items there's a dig spot right here and in that dig spot you guys will find a metal hairpin you do not need your metal detector for this one. You just need your shovel. Uh, and right in this square, this square is like a burned down house. You can enter it without going through a door. The base is still there, but it's still a, a burned down house. On a barrel inside this little burn, burned house, there's a 10 of wands tarot card. Let's go across the water a little bit right here to our first marker which is a fossil this fossil is randomized i cannot tell you guys which one you will get but come over here with your metal detector and shovel and that's what you will get make sure you pay attention to the line to see almost exactly where it is let's go over here to our next marker which is at the h of marsh there's two things inside this house which one is a tarot card. The tarot card is a nine of wands. This nine of wands is on the dinner table. And right on the other side of that dinner table, you guys should see a wash table. And on that wash table, you will see a tortoiseshell cone. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a coin. This coin is randomized. I cannot tell you guys which one it is, but near a tree the base of the tree that's right here at this location you guys will get a random coin come over here with the metal detector and that's what you will get let's go to this next marker which is a bird egg this bird egg is a egret egg e-g-r-e-t it's in a tree shoot it down with the varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow if you do not see these bird eggs try switching a lobby that's the simplest thing I can suggest for you guys. Um, let's go over here to our left a little bit more. Right here behind this house. Come over here with your metal detector and you guys will get a random lost jury. It's right at the back of the house. So you should be able to get that kind of easily. Let's go to our next marker which is a, another random fossil. I cannot tell you guys what fossil you will get, but come over here with your metal detector as well. And that's what you will get. Let's go over to right here. This little area by the E of Lemoyne. Before you go inside the house or even after you exit, there's a tarot card right here inside this gazebo. This tarot card is a six of wands. Is right there inside the gazebo, right where you sit down at. This marker that's inside the house by the front window, or front set of windows, is a ebony hairpin. This ebony hairpin is sitting on a three-seater bench right inside this room, right there at that location. So go grab that. Let's go over here to our right a little bit more. Right inside the cemetery, you guys will find a lost jury. This lost jury is a rue 
Pearl Necklace, R-O-U, Pearl Necklace. It's right inside the Fellows Grave Building right here at this location. If you guys can see that, it's right there. You enter right there. It's not like a whole little entrance where it's like a big room. It's just like a little small little area. You just grab it off the little shelf that's right there. Over to our right a little bit more, you guys will get a tarot card, which this tarot card is a Ten of Pentacles. It's on a bench right next to the entrance of this chapel or church right here. So grab that. It's sitting right on the seat of the bench right there. Let's go over to the left a little bit to our next marker, which is another lost jewelry. This lost jewelry here is a Abello Ruby Bangle bracelet. It's in the corner cabinet at the side of the street that's right here. Position yourself in front of it, open up the door, then position yourself a little bit, well, once again, and it's, you should get a prompt to grab the Abello Ruby Bangle bracelet out of it. Once again, that is a lost jewelry. Let's go down to our next marker which is a antique alcohol bottle, another antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a Tennessee whiskey bottle. This Tennessee whiskey bottle is underneath the ground, is underground or whatever, it's underneath the railroad. So how you get there is there's a, you go through the gate here. When you get there, there's a platform here, jump on that, and there's an entrance into the building. It looks like it's into the building, but it, it's a path that leads down and underground. Go down, follow that path down till you get about right here. You should see a crate in the middle of the area. Grab the antique alcohol bottle off of it and just back out and go back the way you came. Super simple. Uh, right here at this location, you guys will get a flower. This is the location of the antique, I mean, antique alcohol. This is the location of the cardinal flower that spawns over here in this area each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on, which is cycle two for today. It's right there. Make sure you guys watch out for any alligators or snakes or anything else that's over here. Remember the uh, legendary alligator spawns over here as well so keep an eye out or an ear out for that inside this building here you guys will get a random lost jury right here at this location pull out your metal detector right here come to this location and that's what you would dig up a random lost jury let's go over to roads there's a there's inside of um the Braithwaite Manor home. Right here, there's a family heirloom, which is a cherry wood comb. It's upstairs in a room with the chest at the foot of the bed. If you guys want to go grab that as well, right there at that location. So go ahead and get that. Uh, let's go up to Rose where there's a couple things. It's like really just tarot cards, but there's a tarot card inside this shed or this um, barn which is a two of pentacles is on a work table and on this hanging platform here this little square there's a, another tarot card which is a three of swords if you guys want to get this there's one right here in front of this it's like a, a broken down outhouse or something like that but right in front of that broken down outhouse you guys will find another random lost jury let's go up i have a couple more things up here <coughs> which is right here at this southfield flats home there's two things right outside behind the house there's a wagon on that wagon you guys will get a six of pentacles tarot card and inside the house right as soon as you walk through the door look directly ahead there's a tall wardrobe in that tall wardrobe you guys will get a ebony hairbrush which is a family heirloom. Right here at this last marker that I have marked for you guys, this is a random arrowhead. You do not need your shovel for this one. You just need your, uh, you do not need your metal detector for this one. You just need your shovel. You do need a shovel. <laughs> I have to say that. 
But you need your shovel. All you need is your shovel. Come over here. It's a dig spot. So if you use your eagle eye, you should see it glowing or whatever to let you know that it's something right there to dig for. But once again, that's a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you guys what arrowhead you will get, but good luck. Hope you find the one that you're looking for. Because I, I try all the time. Anywho, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the things that I have, the extras that I have for you guys. The cycles, once again, for today are, what today, Tuesday, June 1st are, Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Laws Zuri Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, All Tarot Card Cycle 5, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 4. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 3, All Laws Zuri Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 4, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 2, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 4, all tarot card cycle five, bird egg cycle six, and fossil cycle four. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting. I do appreciate it. I try to say that as much as I can for each video that I do every day. Um, but thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for subscribing because I do see, I did see a couple of subscribe, new subscribers or whatever join. Welcome to the squad. Um, that's pretty much it though. Remember, if you haven't, like, share, subscribe, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out because I do put out videos especially for Red Dead each and every day. That's pretty much it. I'm out.